All right, Shalom. Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahusha, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahusha, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahusha, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahusha. All right, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahusha, Bashim Rakakudash. Uh, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, time of this truth, and peace, blessings, salutations be given unto the elect. All right, of the nation of Israel. I'm pretty much, you know, I want to get into a a lamb back. All right, or you know, yeah, pretty yeah, pretty much a lamb back on this video, um, by the brother, by the elder brother GMS. Get this work, and pretty much, it's this dude that found out that you know the Most High, the angels, all right, the Israelites, the so-called black people, all right, based off of a dream that he had. Okay, now the original source of the video, the original source. The original source right here, all right, uh, f from four years ago, from the, the dude's name is Marcus, okay, all right, and from four years ago, all right, he uploaded the video, so I found the original source, and we're going, he had two dreams, the first dream really doesn't ma doesn't matter, all right, doesn't have, doesn't really matter, the second dream is what is what's important, and I'm going to play the, his second dream, all right, and then we're going to get into the scriptures. But I remember in this dream that I was staring at my feet, that I was barefooted. And I was standing on um, something that felt perfect on my feet. Like the way that the temperature, the way how it felt like it wasn't like a flat marble slab where you can slip. This thing had a, felt like a nice perfect grip and I started looking at what I was standing on and it was like a it wasn't gold but it was golden and it kind of had like these sparkles in it where it kind of looked like it dissipated thicker and as it got to the thicker of it and um and that's when you feel the presence of um, of no time. It's like a uh, you just know that there's no any time there. And so when I raised my eyes, because in the dream I was looking at the ground and even wanted a closer look at it, but then when I raised my eyes, I saw a, uh, a gate. I said, so I, I said, I must be in, I must be in heaven. The, the peace and where I stood, but I saw a gate and, um, uh, on the other side of the gate, it was like a whole bunch of black people looking at me and I had this feel of like they're looking at me like um, he, he think he's about to walk up in here or something but these people had ancient type of look like they were taller different kind of shapes but they were all black I didn't see anything else. Right. So this is the book of Daniel, chapter seven and verse nine. And it says, I beheld to the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit whose garment was white as snow and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as burning fire. All right. So pretty much getting into his uh, his dream. All right. He went to the, the spiritual realm. All right. And he felt the peace and perfection of the spiritual realm. All right. But there was a difference between the spirits that were there at the spiritual realm. All right. Seeing that he was a heathen individual. All right. He wasn't allowed to go anywhere near the so-called black people, as he put it, because this the the uh in the spiritual realm all right 
all the spirits go there. There's no hell where you go and burn forever. But pretty much the the the, uh, the spirits have uh, uh, different positions. So if you're an Israelite, all right, if you're an Israelite, all right, then you would be one of those uh, so-called black people that were there, all right, that are close and nigh unto the Heavenly Father that the Most High, the people that the Most High loves. But if you're a heathen, all right, you have, you, you have your own, all right, uh, uh, section that you're, that, that you go there, all right, that, and, and you're not important, all right, you're not held or regarded as important, and that's according to the scriptures. The scriptures say that the heathen, all right, the other nations, all right, before him are counted to be less than nothing, okay, but pretty much the first thing he said was when he went there, okay, he was barefooted, all right, and let's get that, all right, because when Moses, I was going to start off, well, I, I did start off with Daniel 79, but let, let's go back, all right, and let's uh, take off thy, uh, thy sandals. The Most High, when, when Moses when Moses met the or was at the burning bush, the Most High spoke through the bush and told him what? That, look, the place in which you're standing, all right, is holy ground, okay? So, Khan, this is uh, the book of Exodus chapter 3. And verse five. All right. Uh, I'll start Exodus chapter three and verse one. Now, Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father in law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of the most high, even. All right. Meaning indeed to Horeb. And the angel of Yahweh appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked and behold, the bush burned with fire and the bush was not consumed. So the bush was on fire. OK, but the it wasn't. It wasn't, uh, 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 how do you say it? It wasn't decomposing. It wasn't breaking down. It wasn't turning to ash. Okay. It was just on fire. All right. And it, and it kept on continually being on fire. And it says, and Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight. Why the bush is not burnt. And when Yahweh saw that he turned aside to see the most high called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And, and he said, here am I. And he said, draw not nigh hither, put off thy shoes from off thy feet for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. All right. And so this dude, when he went to the spiritual realm, all right, to see, all right, uh, you know, to see the most high in, in his dream. All right. He wasn't able to get near the most high or his people. All right. And, and he said that they were so-called black people, which is true. The most high, his son, the angels and the Israelites are so-called black people. Now, within Israel, you have the northern kingdom, which is uh, so-called Hispanics, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians. All right. They look lighter skinned because of the Assyrian captivity and all the mixing and mingling with uh, of the bloodlines with the heathen nations. All right. And then, you know, um, you know, even us so-called, you know, Negroes, we don't look like how we looked. All right. As so-called uh, black people. All right. So-called black people going back to the ancient world. We, you know, it's it's different. All right. So, you know. We just have to be, you know, and then you, you have to consider that because we mixed with all these other nations, some of us don't even look like uh, uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics or Native and Seminole Indians. We, you know, um, you know, some of us just come look downright. Some of us just look like so-called white people downright, so-called Chinese, so-called Japanese, so-called African. All right. So-called Polynesian and so on and so forth. OK, but, you know, the original shade and complexion is so-called black people. All right. So-called black people. All right. You know, and that's that's what the mo that's the color. That's the skin color of the heavenly father. That's the skin color of his son. And that's the skin color of the angels. And that can be backed up by scripture. All right. We are the true the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians are the true Israelites. And the heavenly father is a so-called black man. His son is a so-called black man. And the angels are so-called black people, too. All right. Just like the so-called Negroes, except they look, you know, w way better in perfection and how they actually are, what they actually, you know, look like. It's, it's nothing like us, but they're still at least the point stands that they're so-called black people. OK. You know, so dealing with this, uh, you know, he, he didn't have um, he didn't he, he did not have he didn't have. All right. Um, he didn't have shoe. He didn't have any shoes because being in the spiritual realm. OK, you know, he, he was a 
he was on holy ground, all right? Because you have three heavens. The first heaven is rulership on the planet Earth, all right? As well as the skies and the, the, skies and the upper atmosphere of the planet Earth, the, leading all the way to, you know, the ozone layer, which is the firmament th that the Bible talks about to separate the waters from the waters, to separate the atmosphere inside of the planet Earth, all right? from the atmosphere that's outside of the planet Earth. So the first heaven deals with whatever nation is in rulership and control of the planet Earth, all right, and, 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 and the people that are on the Earth as well as all the resources and so on and so forth, which is a so-called white man right now, okay? And the, as well as the, you know, the, the clouds, the skies, the upper atmosphere leading all the way right until, you know, touching the, the ozone layer. And then past the ozone layer, all right, outer space, all right, the galaxies, all the other galaxies, stars that are expanding into infinity, that's the second heaven. And the third heaven is a completely different dimension, all right, the, you know, fourth dimension, the third heaven, the spiritual realm, all right, you know, it's, you know, Esau wants to call it the ether and all this other, you know, but it's just the spiritual realm, all right, the fourth dimension, the third heaven, where the heavenly father, his son, all right, and the holy angels reside and Israelites, all right, and and heathens all right where where all spirits when they you know when when they die from their bodies you go back to the heavenly father in that realm okay so you know he he was he was on holy ground all right he was on holy ground you know um he was standing on holy ground so he he didn't he was that's why he was barefooted okay and going back to what we read in Daniel chapter 7, verse 9, I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, okay, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. So his hair, all right, is like the pure wool, all right? So he has nappy, kinky, coily hair, meaning what? He has, he has an afro, all right, meaning what? He's a so-called black man, okay? He's a so-called black man. It even tells you in the old dictionaries, all right, that woolly hair dealing with the tight, kinky, coily hair like that of so-called Negroes. It says his throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels is burning fire. But the reason why I, I wanted to also read this scripture is because not that it also just proves that he's a so-called black man, too, but also because when you read this scripture, it says what? Ancient of days. He said that when he went there, OK, that he said that there was no feeling. There was no feeling of time at all. All right. It was like time. There was time was completely non-existent. All right. Uh, uh, when he when when he was in that dream. OK. Of of, uh, of the spiritual realm. He said that there, you just felt that there was no time. That's why the most high. Uh, that's that's where the, uh, the 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 term father time goes back to. All right. The, the title father time. All right. You know, father time goes back to. This scripture right here in Daniel 7 and 9, dealing with the Heavenly Father, God Almighty, Allah Shadja, all right, God Almighty, the, the, the Omnipotent, all right, Heavenly Father, whose name is mm -hmm. Yahweh, meaning He is, He to be, He exists, all right. In this scripture in Daniel 7 and 9, He's called what? He's called the Ancient of Days. The word ancient, all right, like the word anti, all right, like the term anti diluvian, dealing with, you know, the whole flood situation with Noah, all right, the word, the word ancient or anti means before, all right, and the word day refers to time, because you have 24 hours in a, in a day, as they say, all right, you have 24 hours in a day, okay, so, all right, you know, a day refers to, t is, is, a, is a reference, all right, to time, all right, like, you know, you have to wait a day, you have to wait 24, a, a 24 hour period of time, you know, you have to wait a month is however, however many hours you have to wait a year. That's however many, you know, you know, months, which is 12 months, 12 month, you know, window of time. So ancient of days means before time, the being that existed before time, which was the heavenly father, Yahweh, the one who has no beginning and no ending. OK, and to be honest, all right, the son of the heavenly father, Yahweh Shai, 